Oh yeah. All right, guys, I just want to get in here and uh, cheers you. Have a, have a quick cup of coffee. So I got this cup in uh, Amsterdam when we did some of those other videos from uh, a couple of years ago. It's, uh, I got it at a regular, like, you know, houseware store for less than one euro, probably like 70, 70 cents or whatever. Um, but it's my favorite tourist cup from Amsterdam. Then we went over to the Alps and, uh, I'll try to link that video for you guys if you haven't seen it, the Bushcraft Survival Shelter in the Alps. You guys check that little guy out. Cheers. Have a cup of coffee. Fresh ground, good stuff. I always say I like my my coffee like my women. Colombian. Missy's Colombian. I probably said that before though. I always say I like my my coffee like my women. Colombian. Missy's Colombian. I probably said that before though. I take my coffee black in case you want to know. Just black. Mm. All right, so I've got a loop today for you guys. I'm working on the survival belt. I'm working on the loop there. And I've got it traced out. I'm going to try to put that together. And uh, Joe's Neon sending a uh, some type of sheath or hanger something we'll find out this week for the wetterlings hatchet so that's pretty exciting guys check out joe's neon um i want to talk to you guys about the the hot tent so this is my wood stove for the hot tent give you a good size you know idea of the size i usually have it inside my pack right down against the back like that because it's usually the heaviest thing and then i pack in the pack in front of it on that end so that's usually how it's how it's carried you can see it's not that big um i really like this stove a lot i am and currently trying to purchase a new stove i've been talking to a company about it i hope to get that one so i have two in the works this is the beast the other one's a little lighter weight we'll see what happens there um that one is a, a, a deal of a stove, so I'm hoping that I can get you guys uh, links to what I use. And that way you guys know exactly where to go and a, an affordable hot tent stove. You can make the, the stove yourself and things like that, but unless you have access to stainless steel or titanium, it's going to rust out. And trust me, I've already had a few homemade stoves just rust to nothing. They're useless. Homemade uh, kettles out of uh, tins. You know, I get like a cookie tin, make a kettle out of it, and it, it rusts out. So anything like that is a temporary fix at best. For one season or temporary, you know, you can probably get away with it. And uh, I might do some projects in the future just like that. Um, but I already have the, the stove pipe, which is the stove pipe. It's the hardest part to make. So anyway, this is the hot tent stove a wood stove it packs into here and then my normal tent is here this is the five man go light shangri-la five and uh there is a new version of this tent from up from uh my trail i almost said up trail that's a youtube channel this guy right here up trail 71 if you can see him can you guys see see this anyway so this is, it's now called mytrail.com and you can get their, uh, their TP style tents. Uh, I really like this tent. I've had it for a long time now, like five, six years, maybe more. And um, yeah, I, I can't say enough about just a really good sill nylon tent. And uh, I put the stove jack in it myself. I've been running a hot tent. I've even taken people on trips, guided people on trips in the winter time using this as a warm place to go and then after everything was said and done for the day a uh, place to sleep so you know i've slept up to five people in here five adults i normally sleep three or four and uh, missy and i and chief 
and uh, now axle we would fit in this easily does have a bug net also that's separate i never carry that unless it's for a particular reason um, so there's no bottom to the tent that's why i always have my black tyvek ground sheets they're seven foot by three foot and uh, it's perfect you just bring one each throw them down put your stuff on there put your sleeping pad on there protects from the snow the ground whatever and uh, that's how we roll and so i carry this and the stove sleeping bag sleeping pad and then uh you know basic cook kit and, and regular you know backpacking essentials um i do have a second stove jack and my plan so you see how large that is Let's see if i can get it out from back here so my favorite 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 tarp that i have is my war bonnet my favorite tarp is the war bonnet superfly this is not the ultralight one this is the war bonnet superfly that's made out of sil nylon it's a little weighty but look at that this can sleep three four adults easily on the ground under it as a tarp and it's i've got it in snake skin so it's really easy to set up what i'm thinking is putting a stove jack on this and uh, then i'll have a tarp that's kind of like an uh, a-frame pup tent but the tarp you guys have seen this one before i'm sure um, that you can put your hammock through but if i close off the doors pitch it low and i have a hot stove or a wood stove in there this could become a very very portable solution and that's what i'm looking for something smaller in my pack something you know a lighter smaller wood stove to go inside of it or i'll use this one until i get my hands on the lighter smaller wood stove but this this is my idea these are my projects um, i have one other project i've alluded to a little bit but i'm uh, uh i have one offer from uh one of our good subscribers tracy t I'll just say that um tracy is has uh put it out there that they have they have a van um, and you know, it, it, maybe it doesn't fit our, our criteria exactly. Uh, I'm looking, you know, I, I did sell our van in the, in the past. It's been more than a year ago. And, uh, it was when Axel was being born. I just made some decisions. If we needed to rent them, if we need them, we can rent them for our guiding business. Um, and also it was expensive to keep up with the insurance and everything. So it, it saved us a lot of money to go this route. And basically, I'm looking for an RV, like a, a van-sized, like a Class B type RV, a, an older one, an 80s model. Um, but I'm looking for one that, that's uh, in decent shape. I found one that's about, you know, 6,500, something like that. And uh, it has a shower, sink, uh, stove, toilet, can sleep four it's a van it's ford um so i you know i found some a pretty decent one there and i found a couple other ones that are in our area that i'm interested in but if you guys have any ideas or if you know of anyone that has one we, we don't need a large rv because you can't go to trailheads that we go to and in, in one but a van sized rv or slightly larger perfect for getting into where we go um, because we do go out in the woods we won't be sleeping in our van every night when we're out It'd just be on the way to and from wherever we're going to go on a hiking trip. If we're going to Maine, it'd be nice to drive all the way through the day and not look for a hotel and things or have to camp out. I mean, at the end of the day, just go to sleep in your camper, get up the next morning, start your backpacking trip. And then uh, at the end, a lot of times you get a shuttle and then the shuttle would bring us back to the parking area, right back to our van. Sometimes we get a shuttle from where we park to the other end and then hike back to our vehicle. So we've done that also. Just depends on how it goes. But this, this I'm excited about it. It's gonna be a hot tarp hammock, hot, hot, hot tent tarp hammock, hot tent tarp hammock. So it's a hot tarp, a wood stove inside of a tarped area that I could put a hammock in. I'm gonna try to set it up where I can still have the hammock hanging that won't bother it and uh 
that you could lay in the hammock to get the most effect from the heat from the stove because heat rises. Um, sometimes in a hot tent, it's cooler down on the very, very lowest area, like, like an inch from the ground, and then as hot as up at the top of the, the teepee. So I'm pretty sure this is going to run me out, but this is a new idea. Going to be working on this one um, from now on, and you guys can keep up with that. The bushcraft belt is also one we're working on. I'm working on it's ongoing. If you guys have ideas for that, let me know. I'll show you what we have so far. The flashlight and the the bear spray are on there just for fun. Let me show you guys. Check that out. So, so I got knife, pouch, bear spray, flashlight, dump pouch. So that's the bushcraft belt. The bear spray, this'll this'll be gone. That should normally never be there. And then this should be somewhere else because it'll just fall off. So we'll take those guys off. And then we'll have another look at it. Bushcraft belt update. So I've got a hot tent project. It goes right along with this guys. I'm going to put a... This will give me a lot of space. A lot of space inside my pack, a lot of extra weight off my shoulders. Just having this stuff on a belt outside of my jacket or on my waist. But this would normally not be the belt hanging, holding up my pants. And also, here's the update on the, the dump pouch. Check that out. Dump pouch complete. I still have to dye the strap. Check that out. I still have to dye the strap on the back of my other leather pouch, but I've got that one on. And then that's how that turned out. I've got a little bit more work to do on this one, but here I'll put this guy on for you, for you guys and show you where we're at with it. There we go. So generally I don't want much on my back because I'll be wearing a backpack and I'll, I'll get to that when I get to it, see how that works out. So got my knife, got my knife here, got my fire kit, got my dump pouch. Let's see if I can show you this, I'll try to so open it up, boom, it falls open and then I put this little leather piece there to hold it up. Like I said, I'm not quite done, but you guys see that leather piece? There's a stitch in each corner. I put two in the top so far just to see how I like it. I think I'm going to raise the bag up so that it can flop over. That way when I'm carrying stuff here on my side that I can close it and just carry it there if I feel like it. So. That's the dump pouch. Turned out really well. I'm super happy with it. I also have an idea to do a second dump pouch. This is a lot lighter weight, a lot smaller, a lot less leather, but using the black Tyvek that I use for the uh, ground sheets. So tell me what you guys think about that idea. And uh, so we got this guy. So check this out. This is what I've done here. I've got Backup knife, open now, with a ferro rod right there. You guys can see that it's a small one. But that fits right in the top here. And then I have a flint and steel with char cloth. And an Altwoods tin for charring more cloth. So that all fits right in that pouch, no problem. And uh, yeah. So that's just it, that's the update guys. And uh, yeah, leave me a comment down below. Leave me a comment down below and uh, tell me what you think. I'm excited about the hot tent 
situation, you know, working on something new. I've been running with the same setup for a lot of years now, so a uh, new setup breathes some fresh air for me. And uh, yeah, I just always, always got to keep moving, always got to keep it new. Yeah, the other one is working on an RV. I've, you know, we're, we're looking, we're trying to, to find something in the right price range that's nice enough and that's small enough for us because we really need a small rig. But I'd like to have a shower, a toilet, a uh, generator, a uh, sink, a uh, stove, you know, sleeping area for at least two full-grown adults. And, uh, you know, maybe more would be actually nice. Most of them have at least three or four adults uh, sleeping space. So, yeah, you know, let me know what you guys think about that. I'm going to get out to the A-liner camper out where we have that and uh, do some maintenance, clean it up. Got to get some propane on it. I'll bring you guys along on that one. And... Uh, yeah, let's uh, keep moving forward on this bushcraft belt situation. And uh, let me get Chief in here to talk to you guys for a second. Come here, buddy. It's seven, 17 degrees, so Chief is uh, Chief's trying to stay warm. What's up, buddy? You know, he doesn't like the cold so much. Oh, I think he just had a snack. You got a burp in there, man. What's going on? Chief, 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 get in there. That's the Chief. Ah, big boy. Are you listening to everybody? Are you listening to everybody? What's going on? Is that Missy? Is Missy home? Is Missy? Oh, oh, she is home. All right, guys, got to go. Missy's home. Talk to you next time. You guys get outside and go do something. There he is. Survival tabs. You can see them up here. I've got some. Also have uh, Salazon chocolate. Salazon chocolate. There should be a sticker right here. This is Salazon chocolate. Those guys have definitely supplied us with some really awesome chocolate shout out to salazon chocolate you guys check them out they don't ship in the hot months you have to find them locally if it's hot out so you have a limited time now to order some order some salazon chocolate tell them that you found them through wilderness rocks um, they sent me some chocolate and it was awesome and i couldn't stop eating it you know i just wanted to talk to you guys for a couple of minutes i want to remind you also that we have uh stickers for sale on our website you can check that out down below and uh, we also have t-shirts and we have uh, limited sizes on that so get them while they're hot wilderness rocks black tie bed ground sheet for putting under your sleeping pad to keep the sleeping pad you know give it a little more insulation and protect it from the ground uh, used uh, for Appalachian Trail through hikers a lot. This one is black, is different, and uh, it has a Wilderness Rock sticker on it. We have those for sale on our website.